this is the new Foursquare. When you first load the app, you will be sent to a list of personalization options. You can go through and choose things that you like. I like lobster, spicy fish, whatever, desserts. And as you add more and more, you can always kind of return back to that and add more and more, and it'll start personalizing things uh, to you. So you can see here that based on the things that I've said that I like, it'll automatically go to dinner based on the time of day. It's 5 o'clock, and it'll start recommending certain things based on those tastes. And you can see that in that new watermelon color. As you can see, the branding is totally different. We've got a new Foursquare logo. It's kind of shaped like a superhero flag. And then we've got these new you know, blue and, and pink colors. And as you go through, you'll see that there are different kind of headers. So these are people I follow, late night munchies, great steaks, and other meats. And you can go through this kind of different list of things at the top that you might be interested in, whether it's uh, breakfast, brunch, and then you can even get into shopping, nightlife, and things like that. You can also uh, search for Square for maybe something that you want. So maybe I want a cheese plate, something like that. I can, I can search, and it'll automatically kind of bring up a list view. If you click this top right corner, you can get that map view that you might be used to with Yelp. When you click into a certain vendor, you get basic information like the phone number to call, the address, you get certain tastes that are associated with that particular restaurant, then you actually get into kind of tips and reviews that people have left. When you go into a tips view, you can see that you have this kind of bar on the top that shows staff picks, following, your taste, popular, etc. That'll actually go through and, and show you different tips based on certain restaurants uh, or based on certain people. It kind of all depends on how you're searching. Now your profile is your own, your own uh, central hub. It shows how many people are following you. As we mentioned before, the new Foursquare is a follow-based app, so it's all about you know who's following you and who you're following, not necessarily a friendship-based relationship. So I could follow New York Mag and wouldn't have to really be sharing any information with them. You can also go into uh, this top right corner where you have a compose menu and leave a tip about your favorite places. This will integrate with, with Swarm, so it'll actually show you your latest check-ins on Swarm and kind of import those and ask if you want to leave a tip. All in all, the new Foursquare is, is a pretty sweet improvement from the old one, unless you are really, really into the check-in and you happen to hate Swarm. <laughs> but uh, for now, this is at least a really great improvement, and I'm interested to see how it plays against Yelp.